ready to jump in? Yes. Fantastic. Well, welcome to the beautiful Oxen Run Pool in the Great Ward 8. Let's give it up for our DPR facility, staff, lifeguards, everybody who got the pools ready for us. Give them a big round of applause. That's not very big. Give them a big round of applause. We are kicking off uh, our swim season for the year. So this weekend, this Memorial Day, we will kick off uh, the opening of 18 outdoor pools, 11 indoor pools, 24 splash parks, and children's pools across all eight wards of Washington, D.C. The highest number of pools per capita in the entire United States. These facilities will open from noon to 6 p.m. on Saturdays, Sunday, and Monday. And starting on June 18th, they will be open seven days a week. So starting tomorrow from noon to 6 on this Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and starting June 18th, they will be open seven days a week. So we encourage you to go to summer.dc.gov to find out where you can swim and all of the fun information activities uh, for our summer. DPR has been ramping up and staffing up all year for this very day. Uh, we will hire 250 pool staff this year, including lifeguards and aqua day counselors, as well as coaches. And in case you didn't know, and you will know today that you can get swim classes at DPR. So how many people say, I don't know how to swim. I don't want to learn how to swim. I'm scared to swim. You can fix that today. And it doesn't matter how old you are either. You can learn how to swim. And for the first time, uh, we will be, well, this is the second time this year at Banneker, uh, we will be offering uh, concessions so that there will be food provided by Ben's Chili Bowl and also at the newly renovated Ridge Road Pool. Um, we've also got pool parties planned for the year, which the, our director will tell you about, a free swim league for kids ages 14 and under. And this year, uh, D.C. Public, all our pools, D.C. public pools are free to D.C. residents. That's fresh. That's very fresh. Very fresh. So all of our locations, indoors and outdoors, you can find um, with ours at summer.dc.gov. Uh, um, we will now hear from um, our council member who is going to help us open this beautiful Ward 8 pool. Uh, then we'll hear from uh, Keith Anderson, who is the director of DPR. And then I'm going to introduce uh, Patricia Atkins, who's going to talk about safety in the summer. So council member May. Yay. Good, afternoon. Good afternoon. And for those of you who don't have the privilege of living in Ward 8, welcome to Ward 8. Thank you. <laughs> welcome the mayor. We don't hold it against her that she lives in Ward 4. Uh, uh, but, uh, but, so we're very grateful, very thankful to be out here today opening up the pool. And it's exciting that all of our pools are going to open on time and making sure that our children have an opportunity and our adults to have an opportunity to cool off. I think that one of the things that I'm very excited about um, making sure that we have access to so many pools here in Ward 8 um, is the access to the ability to learn how to swim. We know that statistically African-American children drown at higher rates than their white counterparts. So making sure that in Ward 8 and in Ward 7 and across the city, uh, in our communities where we have higher African-American population, that we're making sure that our children uh, have the opportunity to learn how to swim and enjoy this free, awesome resource here offered by the District of Columbia. So I look forward, I'm not going to jump in today, but I look forward to swimming later on this summer. Thank you. So, Director Anderson, uh, I know you will accept my thanks on behalf of all of the staff at DPR. I also want to acknowledge the leadership and staff at the Department of General Services who work very hard to make sure our pools and facilities are ready. So let's give the staff another big round of applause because it's a big, big effort. So, Director Anderson. 
Thank you, Madam Mayor, and uh, I, I want to thank you for your uh, leadership and support of DPR. You've been ever so helpful to make us make this day possible. Um, there are a few, few folks I want to uh, thank here. First of all, Team D DPR. <laughs> Especially uh, Aquatics Director Tyrell Lashley. <laughs> Site staff and all the staff that made this happen today. Folks, we've been working since February to make this day a reality. And isn't this a beautiful uh, facility? Woo! And although she couldn't be here today, I'd like to thank Dr. LaQuandra Nesbitt and the Department of Health for being a, such a great partner in keeping our residents healthy and fit and ensuring that our pools are safe, especially her, uh, her health inspectors. They, they left no stone unturned to make sure that our pools are safe for you guys this summer. And I want to give a special thanks, a very special thanks, to the director, uh, Chris Weaver, and the Department of General Services for making this facility beautiful. Thank you, guys. And I want to specifically point out Spencer Davis, Donnie Gonzalez, Sean Link, and Amen Gassaway. Thank you guys for making this day wonderful. While, DP, while DPR staff work tirelessly every day, this is the beginning to our most active season. Over the course of the summer, as you heard the mayor say, we will hire over 250 lifeguard, lifeguards to protect the lives of the 200,000 residents that visit our sw outdoor facilities, uh, swimming pools during the summertime. And they do a tremendous job in doing that. We will also hire over 300 camp counselors to uh, give over 5,000 children in this city a safe, fun, and enriching summer. Uh, so thank you to the staff that make that happen all, all summer long. And as we, as we move to open our pools this weekend, I want to make sure that, that uh, while we want everyone to have fun, that you know that safety is key. So parents should, so all parents should be diligent about watching their children, especially children that are under the age of six years old. Children young, younger than six years old must be accompanied by an adult in swim attire at all times and must be within arm's length of an adult while in the swimming pool. Keep that in mind, folks. It is very important to keep our children safe. Um, I also want to take this time to remind everyone that pools are now equipped with ADA-compliant pool lifts so that swimming can be more inclusive for everyone. Um, so, and that's right. And another big change that we're making for this 2016 season is, uh, as the mayor alluded to, is that pools will now be open to the public two hours earlier. Uh, instead of 1 p.m., they'll be opening up at 11 a.m. Uh, for residents to enjoy. So, ladies and gentlemen, please follow all pool regulations that are posted at all of our sites. Follow the rules. Yes, follow the rules. And we look forward to having a safe, productive, enriching, and most of all, fun summer. Thank you. All right. Now, remember that I said and the director said that we want everybody to have fun, everybody to follow the rules, and everybody to be safe around our pools and really around all water. So when you're coming to a public pool or when you're going to visit a friend at a friend's house who has a pool, it's important to keep these tips uh, in mind. So let me invite uh, Patricia Atkins from the Consumer Protection Safety Commission. Uh, she's the executive director to come and help us celebrate our pool opening. Thank you, Ms. Atkins. Thank you. You bet. Good afternoon, everyone, and Mayor Bowser and Director Anderson. Thank you so much for this invitation. Uh, I'm a proud resident of the District of Columbia, Ward 5. Amen. All right. All right. Um, and I'm also here on behalf of our chairman, uh, Elliot Kay, um, who sends his best wishes and certainly for a fun and enjoyable summer around the pools. I am going to be talking about, about safety, um, and CPSC is all about safety. We want to make sure that you all here, as well as children and families, are safe during this summer season. Most of all, we want to keep our children safe from drowning. And I don't know if everybody knows this statistic. I want to give just a few. Drowning is the number one cause of unintentional death among our children from ages one to four. It's the second leading cause of our children from ages five to 14. I think these are very unacceptable statistics and we can do better. Last week, the CPSC released a report, and it, there's good news. There's definitely good news about the report. 
Since 2010, when we launched our Pool Safely national public education campaign, children have been, um, the good news, 11%, there's a drop in 11% of the deaths from children in terms of fatal um, drownings. This is certainly good news, but as I said, it's not enough. We can do better. Already this year, we are finding that there are 50 children that have drowned already, and the season is just starting. We haven't even gotten into the summer swimming season. And what you see on TV, a lot of times you see, you think that, you know, it's, it's loud, children are yelling, um, they're splashing, but that's not really the way it happens when we see children drowning on TV or in movies. What we know is it's quiet and it's quick. It only takes two minutes for a, for a child to drown. That's a silent, silent activity. What I'd like to do is give you some tips, and this will certainly help our parents and certainly the, the people who are operating the pools. There are four tips that we want to make certain that you are aware of. The first tip is four-sided fencing, and this is so that the gate latches and it also closes. And these are for pools in resident, certainly residential areas, our parents, our friends that have pools. Four-sided fencing. The second thing is CPR. You need to learn CPR. The third thing is be a water watcher. This means that no, you can't look at your cell phone. No, you can't text. No, you can't be distracted. You need to focus on the children that are in and around the pools and in the water. The fourth thing, which has already been mentioned, is swimming. We definitely need to teach our children swimming. And it's already been cited, I believe, by our councilwoman about African-American children. Seventy percent of our African-American children do not know how to swim. Sixty percent of our Hispanic children do not know how to swim. Our African-American children are five and a half times more likely to drown. So this makes the case for swimming, for teaching our children how to swim. Yes, let's learn how to swim. Yeah. We want all of our children to be safe. Uh, Pool Safely that I mentioned, this was one of our campaigns that was uh, launched in 2010. Uh, we would like everyone to go to our Pool Safely site. This is poolsafely.gov. There's a pledge and we, that you can take to support safety around, the wa around water and pools. We've already gotten 31,000 people to sign up for Pool Safely. So I hope you will go to that website and sign up. We want to double that number. We want to make that number really huge because it means that you are paying attention to our children and to their safety. The other thing that I would like to close with is we've done something very special for the District of Columbia. In December, uh, we awarded the District of Columbia a $170,000 grant to help with all of their pool activities. Ooh, thank you. All right. So Mayor Bowser, I'm hopeful that the grant that the district will be receiving will be used well. I know that you are doing a wonderful job. This will just help that. This will make safety wonderful for our children around the pools. I thank you. Have a wonderful summer around the pools. Thank you, Director. Atkins. All right. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. So give a big hand to Executive Director Atkins for bringing us those pool safety, pool safely tips. I like that. And I want to acknowledge one of our huge partners and Angie Ange from WKYS. Give Angie a big round of applause for always putting out great information out on the radio uh, to tell people what all the great things we're doing in Washington, D.C. and in D.C. government and in our neighborhoods and at our pools and at our schools and at our playgrounds. We appreciate you, Angie. We appreciate what you're doing. So who, who's, who's, who's in charge of the, the next set of activities? I am? All right, why don't you come and direct the next point? Because I think boys and girls... Let's give a hand to our beautiful boys and girls. They are going to inaugurate the pool season in Washington, D.C. So give us a couple of minutes. Okay. Hey, Joan.
the, the police gonna be out. They're gonna take the out. The Now return to our previously scheduled program, already in progress.